Thank you. My name's Alex Stevenson and we're at the uh, Kinetic Long Arm Centrage Facility in Farnborough in the UK. This is one of only 20 facilities uh, in the world available uh, and has been operating here for the last 60 years. In fact, it's celebrating its 60th birthday earlier in May. It's used to train uh, RAF pilots and in fact astronauts to cope with the high gravitational forces during manoeuvring or uh, leaving the atmosphere. So it is a big machine. The actual arm here is 60 foot in diameter. It weighs 44 tonnes. Uh, and is capable of generating 9G for human use. Uh, and at that, uh, acceleration is spinning around the room at 60 miles an hour. This was actually used in the, uh, to actually train the first civilian UK astronaut up to space, so that's Helen Sharman. And more recently has been used uh, to train some of the uh, tourists up to the International Space Station. So yes, I've been inside it a few times. It is um, at 9G, basically you weigh nine times as much. So obviously everything feels heavy. It's hard to move your, your hands, your arms, hard to move your head. If you move your head forward, it's hard to bring it back up, so you have to be careful. Now usually, uh, human tolerance to acceleration, you uh, experience a loss of vision at about three and a half G uh, to four G, and about five G, if you don't do anything, you'll lose consciousness because you're not getting enough blood flow to your brain. Uh, fortunately, with all the modern day technologies available to us, we have actually can uh, sustain 9G with the modern kit that you use in the, the fast jet, uh, like the Typhoon. So, and all that does is just uh, increase your blood pressure and get your blood flowing back to your head. Activate. Stick is hot. Maximum work now. Come on, come on, come on. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Legs. But breathe. One, two, breathe. Looking really good. Breathe. Up a little bit. Yeah, as okay. long as you're okay. Ten yeah. seconds now. Well, I got a bit tight, I can go straight again. Okay, keep the pressure all the way down. Yeah. No problems, was it? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. There aren't really many guys that are uh, talking during 9G, so I guess there wasn't any problems. No. You can feel there's, I've got quite, you can feel again quite a lot of pressure in the chest because you can feel the uh, blood in the arms. Yeah. So. so this machine is now in its 60th year of operation. So it was built in 1955 and actually this year will be the most it's ever been used. So it's still very useful for the, uh, for the MOD community and, uh, and gets a, a lot of use out of it.